Assalamualaikum Okay, for this slide, I will explain about the regulation of body temperature So, uh, for the human, normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius So, our body has to maintain our body temperature in range 37 degrees Celsius until 39 degrees Celsius More than 39 degrees Celsius, uh, it will harm it, uh, to our body because it will denature our enzyme so, um, the body will regulate body temperature by heat gain and heat loss. So, uh, so the skin as an organ to regulate the body temperature. There are two location of thermoreceptor uh, in our body, uh, which which are in the skin and in the hypothalamus. Okay, thermoreceptor uh, is the receptor to detect the temperature. Okay, this is the cross-section of the skin. We have learned about the cross-section of the skin during form 2. Okay, uh, there are several types of receptor, which is warm receptor and core receptor uh, related to body temperature. Okay. Okay, this is how regulation of body temperature, uh, the negative feedback mechanism. Okay, uh, when the body temperature rises uh, more than 37 degrees Celsius, our thermoreceptor in the skin detect the rises of external temperature and at the same time, hypothalamus detect the rises of body temperature. Okay, and then... The thermoreceptor will send the nerve impulse to the thermoregulatory center in the hypothalamus. So, it means uh, the hypothalamus contains uh, thermoreceptor and thermoregulatory center. And then, uh, thermoregulatory center uh, will interpret the information and send the nerve impulse to the effector. So, effector will respond by physical and metabolism means. Okay, and then... Uh, after effector do the corrective mechanism, uh, our, mon our normal body temperature will fall into the our body temperature will fall into the normal temperature. Uh, so uh, the same uh, the same mechanism also occur when our normal body temperature falls. Okay. Uh, Cata ini menunjukkan tentang apabila bad uh, apabila suhu badan kita meningkat. Ada dua receptor yang akan detect iaitu thermoreceptor dekat kulit dan thermo uh, thermoreceptor dekat hipotalamus. Thermoreceptor di kulit akan mengesan suhu luar iaitu suhu bilik. Okay. Uh, manakala uh, thermoreceptor dekat hipotalamus akan mengesan kenaikan suhu dalam badan kita. Uh, maka thermoreceptor ni akan hantar impuls pergi dekat satu Uh, bahagian di dalam hipotalamus yang kita panggil thermoregulatory thermoregulatory uh, center uh, kemudian thermoregulatory center ni akan me menganalisis maklumat tu kemudian akan me uh, mengeluarkan arahan ataupun uh, respon yang sesuai kepada efektor efektor akan bertindak untuk menurunkan semula body temperature samalah juga seperti Apabila suhu badan kita menurun. Uh, untuk next slide, uh, cikgu akan discuss lebih kepada apa respon yang dilakukan oleh efektor. Okay, for this slide, I will explain about the uh, how the effector uh, control the body uh, temperature by physical mean. Okay, during warm environment. Okay, uh, we have air, we have hair erector muscle in our skin. You get to the picture below. Okay, hair erector muscle will relax. So, it will make our hair lie flat. And when our hair lie flat, little air is trapped. Okay, look at to the picture below. Okay, and then for the uh, black capillary, 
Okay, black capillary will undergo vasodilation. Okay, uh, means that the black capillary become wider. So, more blood flow close to the body surface and heat loss by conduction and radiation is increased. For the sweat gland, the sweat gland become active so that more sweat are produced and rate of evaporation is high, heat loss uh, from the skin uh, will cool the skin. Okay, why during cold environment, uh, our hair erector muscle will contract, okay, uh, and will make the hair become erect and more air is trapped. For the blood capillary, it will undergo vasoconstriction, so less blood flow close to the body surface and heat loss by conduction and radiation is reduced. At the same time, the sweat gland will inactive, uh, so less sweat produced, uh, the rate of evaporation is low and heat is conserved. Okay, bermaksud macam ni, uh, semasa so hari panas, waktu panas, okay, kita punya hair irata masa ni akan relax. Maksudnya, uh, dia punya kita punya bulu roma akan flat. Okay, jadi bila bulu roma flat, uh, hanya sedikit sahaja udara yang terperangkap di celah bulu roma. Okay. Uh, Manakala untuk black capillary, okay, vasodilation ni maksudnya black capillary mengembang. Jadi bila dia mengembang, Uh, um, darah akan banyak uh, ber, apa nama darah akan lebih kepada body surface jadi uh, menyebabkan uh, kehilangan haba melalui conduction dan radiation tu meningkat yang kita boleh perhatikan bila waktu panas uh, selalunya uh, kulit muka kita uh, kemerah-merahan eh. ini menunjukkan vasodilation berlaku untuk membebaskan haba Uh, dan sweat gland ni seperti biasalah waktu panas mestilah sweat gland akan aktif jadi kita lebih banyak berpeluh bila berpeluh um, menyebabkan kita punya kulit tu lebih basah jadi uh, bila evaporation tinggi waktu panas so dia akan menyebabkan uh, cooling ataupun penyejukan pada bahagian kulit kita disebabkan peluh atas kulit tu manakala untuk waktu sejuk kita punya hair rata masa ni kontrak menyebabkan bulu roma kita menegak okay? Jadi bila bulu roma menegak, lebih banyak udara terperangkap Bila banyak udara terperangkap, maksudnya dia me, me, mengelakkan kehilangan haba Haba tu disimpan Manakala untuk blood capillary berlaku vasoconstriction Yang ni maksudnya, cuba tengok pada gambar rajah um, se, apa nama Blood, uh, blood capillary kita mengecil Jadi Uh, kurang uh, darah mengalir di bawah permukaan kulit uh, dan heat loss by conduction and radiation tu berkurang ini, ini kita nampak bila waktu sejuk yang sangat sejuk uh, kulit kita nampak pucat okay, sebab uh, vasoconstriction manakala sweat gland seperti biasalah kalau waktu sejuk dia akan inaktif so kita kurang berpeluh so, dan waktu sejuk rate of evaporation is low jadi heat tu is conserved Uh, maksudnya heat tu disimpan ok this is the picture uh, what happen to our skin when the body temperature normal or body temperature pops ok so uh, look at to the picture uh, when the body temperature normal hair lies flat on the skin ok masa hair erata masa is relaxed ok when body temperature falls Hair stand up and goose boom appears. And the muscle, hair erect muscle contract. Eh? Hair erect muscle contract to straight the hair. Okay. Uh, ini yang berlaku waktu kita sejuk. Eh? Kita nampak kulit kita ada macam ketulan-ketulan. Uh, dia panggil goose boom. Kalau, uh, kalau tengok pada gambar raja keratan atas kulit tu. Uh, bulu roma menegak jadi uh, bahagian kulit kita tertarik juga ke atas ok, this is the action of black capillary so, vasoconstriction and vasodilation ok, vasoconstriction maksudnya uh, black capillary itu mengecil ok, semasa sejuk 
mengurangkan haba dibebaskan manakala vasodilation selalu darah mengembang jadi uh, akan membebaskan haba secara convection dengan radiation dekat permukaan kulit ok this is how the regulation of body temperature by metabolism ok how the uh, action of muscle uh, adrenal gland and thyroid gland ok during cold environment ok voluntary muscular activity increase such as we uh, rub hand and in voluntary muscle contract and relax frequently so we uh, shivering during cold environment and the adrenal gland secrete more adrenaline to increase metabolic rate and more heat is produced uh, same as thyroid gland secrete more thyroxine so it will increase the metabolism so more heat produced during warm environment voluntary muscular activity reduce so less heat loss and also involuntary muscle activity reduce also so it will less heat loss uh, the adrenal gland secrete less or no adrenaline so metabolic rate is reduced so less or no heat produced same goes also uh, same to same as to the thyroid gland uh, it will secrete less or no thyroxine so metabolic uh, metabolic rate is reduced no or less heat is produced okay ini yang berlaku dalam badan kita eh. uh, macam tadi adalah physical mean yang ni adalah metabolism di dalam badan so uh, our kita punya bahagian otot eh, uh, ada dua jenis iaitu involuntary dengan voluntary so waktu sejuk selalunya kita akan men menyebabkan kita rubbing hand ok kita menggosok-gosokkan tangan kita dan juga involuntary ini tanpa kita sedar kita akan menggigil ok waktu sejuk iaitu tindakan daripada involuntary masa uh, adrenal gland dengan tarot gland pesan uh, adrenal gland dengan tarot gland kedua-duanya akan uh, macam adrenal akan keluarkan lebih adrenaline so dia akan meningkatkan metabolism waktu sejuk dia kena meningkatkan metabolism so lebih banyak haba di dikeluarkan sama juga dengan thyroid gland ya eh, merembeskan lebih uh, thyroxine jadi meningkatkan metabolism okey untuk waktu panas uh, tiada uh, ber, berkurang eh kita punya voluntary dengan involuntary masa ini berkurang so uh, tak mengeluarkan haba kuranglah heat loss okey so untuk adrenal kurang ataupun tak ada langsung adrenaline so metabolic rate akan berkurang so tiada haba dikeluarkan begitu juga dengan thyroid gland tiada thyroxin atau kurang thyroxin jadi kurang metabolism uh, berlaku so kuranglah heat produce sebab waktu uh, di luar adalah keadaan yang panas so kita tak perlu membebaskan haba yang banyak